this video we're going to talk about a few different uh, measurements with regards to the motion of an object. Okay, so uh, the first one is speed. So obviously I think we all have a pretty good conception of what speed would mean in real life. Uh, so basically in science we're going to define it as kind of the rate of an object's motion. And that's, that's important here, that speed is a rate. Because what it tells us is the rate that an object covers distance per how much time it takes to do that. So uh, what you can add to your definition here is that speed is really the amount of distance that an object covers in a certain amount of time. Okay, so that, that gives us a rate. And it, you could think of it basically as, as how fast something is going. And you probably have that more basic uh, conception of, of speed nailed down. But we want to define it as the amount of distance covered in a certain amount of time. Okay, so this is the formula actually that we're going to use to calculate speed. So speed equals distance divided by time. Okay, so if we go to calculate the speed here, uh, you can maybe try this one out uh, on your own if you want to pause the video. Uh, I'm going to go through it uh, together. Uh, the, if we have a guy who's uh, you know Usain Bolt, the, the fastest guy in the world right now, if he runs the 100 meter dash in 9.6 seconds, what is his average speed? Just so remember our formula was speed equals distance over time. Okay, so if we want to calculate this here, if we want to find our speed, speed would equal the distance, which is 100 meters, over the time, which is 9.6 seconds. So then all we have to do is plug into the formula and divide here, and we would end up with a speed of 10.4. And when we go to calculate, or when we go to decide what units we want to put on this here, it's just uh, looking at the formula. So we have meters on top, that was our distance, and then seconds on the bottom, so our units should be meters per second. So again, to use the speed formula, all we have to do is plug in the numbers in the right spots, because we had our distance was 100 meters, and our uh, time was 9.6 seconds, so the distance goes in the distance spot in the equation, and the time goes in the time spot in the equation, and it's really, uh, that's all it takes. Okay, so the next uh, description of motion we're going to look at is velocity. And so velocity is very similar to speed, it's just got one extra component here, and that's a direction. So velocity is the same as speed, except it also has a direction included. So if you have something uh, like 50 miles per hour, that's a speed because it's giving us a distance per unit time. So that's a speed, whereas a velocity would have a direction attached to that. So this one, the second one here, 50 miles per hour north, because it indica indicates the direction in addition to the speed, that makes it a velocity. So speed has no direction, whereas velocity has a direction. Okay, acceleration. This is uh, a little different than speed or velocity. It tells us how fast an object's speed is changing. So if something is speeding up, that means its speed is changing, right? If it's speeding up, that means it's going from a lower speed to a higher speed. Or if something is slowing down, that means it's going from a higher speed to a lower speed. So acceleration tells us how quickly those changes are happening, right? If you slow down real fast, right? If you like jam on the brakes on your car or bike and you, uh, you go from whatever speed you were going at to a, a stop real quickly, That'll be a, a high acceleration, whereas maybe you uh, take a while to slow down, uh, then that would be a lower acceleration. Or the same thing with speeding up, right? If you, let's say, are, are going downhill on your bike, right, you're going to speed up really fast, that would be a high acceleration. But if, let's say, you're starting from a stop on flat ground, it might take you a while to gain speed, and that would be a lower acceleration. So acceleration basically tells us how quickly our speed is changing. So the formula for acceleration is acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Okay, so the velocity part of this is important because our velocity tells us the direction as well. Right, so if we uh, start going five miles an hour and then turn around and go five miles an hour the other way, we're actually going to have some acceleration there because we changed direction as well. So acceleration, uh, we can use this formula uh, to practice an example here. 
We have an object that starts at rest and it accelerates to a speed of 15 meters per second. So we have its final velocity and initial velocity here. And it takes six seconds to do that. So what is its acceleration? If you want to pause the video and do this on your own, go ahead. Um, we're going to use the acceleration formula. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So we're going to plug all of our information from the question in to calculate the acceleration. So we're looking for acceleration, that's our unknown. Our final velocity is 15 meters per second. Our initial velocity is zero meters per second. So this is a little tricky. It didn't tell us that with a number directly in the question, but it says the object starts at rest. If it's at rest, that means it's not moving. It has a speed or velocity of zero. Okay, so our initial velocity there was zero, and then our time was six seconds. So we gotta just plug all these numbers into the equation here. So acceleration would be final velocity, which was 15, minus the initial velocity, which was zero, over time, which was six. Okay, so then all we have to do here is use order of operations properly and then uh, calculate this out. So our final acceleration here should be 2.5. And our units here, so we have meters per second minus meters per second over seconds. So when we do 15 minus zero, this will give us 15 meters per second, because we had meters per second in both spots here. And then our time was in seconds. So meters per second per second. So meters per second per second would be our units for acceleration here. All right, thanks for watching this video on speed, velocity, and acceleration, and I'll see you in the next one.